right, guys, uh, I am going to give you a quick look at a piece of equipment I've had for a while. And I've been looking for an opportunity to actually show you this piece of equipment. And this is the uh, Manfrotto uh, 196B-2 143BKT two section articulated arm. So let's just call it an articulated arm by Manfrotto. And this is the smaller one, so it really fits a point and shoot type or maybe a mirrorless DSLR camera. It is not heavy duty enough that I would want to risk any heavy camera, my 70D or any of the other prism based or standard DSLRs. Uh, so I would be real careful about that. But for a point and shoot it is just perfect and it takes care of a problem that uh, I have because I do a lot of desktop type presentation stuff. And uh, sometimes it's just a pain in the butt uh, using uh, the uh, the tripods. For instance, it's a pain in the butt right now. I have two tripods, two separate cameras pointing at this, and it and it's kind of trying. So, uh, of these components, this is the this 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 is a component. These components come in actually two pieces. This is an attachment here that basically allows you to hold a camera. Uh, it's called a lighting arm as well, so you could put a light on this as well. Anything that would fit that particular that particular screw type uh, would be no problem. Uh, but uh, what we've got here is a great device for mounting your camera without uh, using a tripod. And sometimes a tripod is just inconvenient in a cramped area. And this is the super clamp. This is the basic piece that makes everything work. This super clamp is the great invention Manfrotto got. I'm sure you can come up with a bunch of different people who've got articulated arms and probably a bunch of people who got clamps. But this clamp is unique. If you see it, it's, it does not, if you do any, uh, you do anything along the lines of carpentry or something, you know how a straight clamp works to hold two straight pieces of wood. What this is, is this is a mouth. So you can adjust it to a much wider than you would expect type of platform. You can use it so simply a dining room table thickness type of thing, uh, card, card table type thickness by just winding it up and it will clamp fine or you can roll it back. For instance down here you will see that I'm using this clamp and I will be using this clamp on a much much thicker surface. This, this particular uh, table in this little vestibule is very very thick and very odd shaped underneath and I can screw it down and if you notice it, it this is this does this this has a lip so it's pushing it back quite a bit and that would look to be a very bad angle for anything that you would consider to use a clamp it it's the the hole it's basically pointing back at me but since I do have this articulated arm, which is the other portion of this component, I can just stick it in, in here underneath. You hit click that release, the, click the button that allows me to drop in. I tighten it down to, to make sure I can move the arm successfully and I'll tighten this down to... Now I can simply now mount my camera. I got to do now is to turn this and get this screwed in well as well and now I can get a camera I'll use a simple point and shoot uh, little camcorder I've got little JVC camcorder and let me bring this down and back my zoom out so I can get this in the frame And move it over slightly to the side. And voila, now I've got a place to attach my point and shoot camera. And I could just screw it in like I would basically with a tripod. No tripods do usually have a different, little slight different mount. And voila, now I have got an articulating mount for my point and shoot. I simply screw it back. I can move it up or down. I can move it right or left. For instance, I can get an extreme angle like this and tighten it down. 
So I can get an angle and shoot like that if I like. So I just wanted to show you this. This is the Manfrotto uh, once again. 196B-2, 143BKT. Uh, you don't think you need to remember all that if you just know that it's a uh, 196B. And this is the one that's specifically for point and shoot and light cameras. There's a much more heavily reinforced one that you would need if you're going to use full size DSLRs. So I just want to let you know that and let you see this. And uh, I will uh, be back with you later with uh, more stuff.